Welcome to the warm-up at Arlington High School. I'm Mark Koontz. Today's show presented by the Blanchard Valley Health Center. And we are joined now by the Red Devils head coach, Dick Leonard. And you've been head coach now for about six, seven years. Is it starting to feel like an uh, old hat to you? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Obviously, a year of change in the Blanchard Valley Conference. We talked about it last year. This year, it's for real as Riverdale, North Baltimore, and Hopewell Loudon come into the league. How does that change your approach this season with having three new conference members to, uh, to worry about? Well, it's, a, it's another thing, uh, you know, more people you got to compete against that you haven't competed against in the past. So we'll have to do a little more, uh, a little more prep work, a little more scouting, and, and concentrate maybe a little bit more on film work and so forth. Um, but we typically do that anyhow. So it's, it's, I mean, we'll prepare each week like we do for, uh, for every team we face. North Baltimore not on the schedule. Hopewell Loudon comes in week three, and then it's uh, Riverdale here at Arlington in week five. And a little bit different having the Falcons here week five as definitely. opposed to week one. Yeah, definitely. That's been a longstanding tradition game for us, and it's always been a real good rivalry and a, and a real important game being a non-league game. I mean, and there's always uh, playoff implications for those non-league games, and, you know, that's been one of our big goals is win your, win your uh, non-league game. So. Speaking of playoff implications, last year, fifth playoff appearance, made it to the regional finals before losing to St. John's. The deepest run Arlington has had. Is there momentum carrying over from well, last we, year's run? We certainly hope so. Um, but, you know, again, that's, that was last year, and this year is this year, and uh, you, can't, uh, you can't live off last year's press clippings. You know, we've got, we've got to establish ourselves in, uh, uh, you know, each, each and every week. You know, and, uh, you know, again, we were proud of what we what we accomplished. I don't think we were satisfied, um, but that was last year, and this is a whole new a whole new picture right now. Obviously, you have to replace Andrew Hunter at quarterback. How is the search going for the new signal caller? Well, that's been a big uh, you know a big concern for us is is uh, who we can get back there. But we've got a couple kids competing pretty hard for it, and uh, you know hopefully hopefully um, we can uh, you know separate the. The, the, the com competitors here and <laughs> come up with someone who's going to do a real good job for us. Certainly has to feel good knowing what you've got coming back on the line and in the backfield. Well, and that hopefully will help, um, you know, have a good transition for a new quarterback where we, we can, uh, you know, maybe rely a little bit up front uh, to carry the load. And then, uh, you know, as that, as that athlete gets comfortable back there in the, as, a, as the signal caller, uh, you know, we can, we can allow, allow him to... Uh, you know, get a little more uh, comfortable, you know, uh, hopefully, hopefully <laughs> we can allow him to get comfortable back there. A couple of All-State performers going back in Austin Reddick in the backfield, Logan Grease in the line. What, what does Logan bring to the line? Well, he brings a lot of intelligence and a lot of experience. Um, obviously, he's a big, strong player. Um, and, and the same thing with, with Austin, you know, it's, it's the experience thing. Um, I know Logan's been doing that since his, about his freshman year. And, uh, and, and Austin's been doing it since he's been a sophomore. So, uh, uh, you know, obviously those things are good things. And, uh, you know, it's just the experience. Let's talk about the defense. Uh, what, uh, what do you think you're going to have coming back defensively? Well, it'll be, it'll be very similar to the offense in terms of our line is, is kind of coming back. But, uh, you know, the linebacking core is going to be all new. You know, and, and uh, you know, as, as a coach, you know, you're a little concerned about the, you know the linebackers and, and the secondary and just like you are uh, you know on offense with uh, with the signal caller and a couple different receivers and, and those kind of things so um, but again up front we've got most of our our uh, starting defensive line returning and, and again hopefully hopefully they can uh, they can be be good enough that uh, um, you know we don't give quarterbacks five seconds to throw the ball because <laughs> We may struggle trying to keep uh, keep people uh, woed if that's happening. Last eight years, you've had Mike Dennis on your coaching staff. He's mm -hmm. now down at Hard Northern as the head coach. How does that uh, move affect your coaching staff? Well, you know, there, it, that's a big chunk gone because yeah. he's, he was very good, and, and he's been our defensive coordinator, and, and he's tried and true. Uh, he's, he's, uh, he's a very good coach, and, uh, um, you know, we wish him the greatest of luck at Hard Northern. But uh, luckily, we've had uh, we've had the same staff uh, pr pretty much for the f for the last seven or eight years, and uh, Coach Nick Inbody um, had worked with our defense with Coach Dennis for the last five or six years, and and, and we think it's going to be a pretty 
a pretty smooth transition with him being our uh, defensive coordinator. You know, we touched on it earlier, Riverdown on the BBC changes the, the non-conference schedule. Uh, Shaw will be the week one opponent, but you're going to be guys playing those on Saturday afternoon. Does that change the approach through camp at all? Not really through camp, but it'll definitely change our, our approach during that prep right. week, you know. Um, but it's exciting, you know. We we know we know nothing about Shaw. <laughs> I mean, I know that they're they're a very big school, right? Division and, three, uh, two and eight record last year, and uh, they have a lot of speed. Do you know mm -hmm. that? And uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a real fun game, hopefully. And uh, uh, we're we're kind of looking forward to that. What do you think the expectations are for this year's team? Well, you know, I think our expectations are similar to what they are every year. You know, uh, we have goals that we we have. Uh, um, you know, I would think number one goal would be like it always is, is the Blanchard Valley Conference Championship. And then, uh, you know, and then let, let's get back to the playoffs and, and let's, uh, let's, let's build upon what we did last year. And let's, let, I mean, our goal is to go deeper. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, we, we fill out our goal sheets and, and those six, seven guys right over there, I mean, their goals are, are pretty much the same as what, what, what mine are and our coaching staff. I mean, it's their team, it's their year. And, uh, um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, BBC championships always the first and then, uh, let's go deeper than what we did last year. Let's, All right. Let's get, let's get a little deeper. <laughs> All right. Let's thank improve. you. Thank you very much. Coach Leonard as he's got a group of about uh, 10 or 11 seniors that they are counting on for good things. And we'll hear from several of them coming up after this break here on the warm up presented by the Blanchard Valley Health Center. Back here on the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health Center, joined by three Red Devil seniors now. Directly to my right is Chase Glick, Bryce Hartman in the middle, and Logan Greaser on the end. Chase, let's start with you. You're on the line. It's a, it's a, one of the strengths of this team. What are you guys working on here in camp trying to improve on before week one? Uh, we really want to work on staying low, forming upright, keeping your, I mean, just keeping your gap, everything, the essentials to being a good lineman. And Bryce, you're also on the line at guard. How important is it to have a group that has been together for a while to open up those running lanes? Uh, it really helps because we bring a lot of experience and Flogan right beside me. Uh, we just try to make those holes for Redick to run through. And Logan, you are on the line as well. So as you can see, I'm the smallest person on this panel by a long shot. How has the summer gone for you so far? Oh, well, summer's gone pretty good. We've been working really hard, and we know everybody else has, just trying to do the best that we can do and get better. Chase, where do you guys fit into this expanded BVC? Do you expect it to be different with the addition of the three other teams? Uh, I believe it'll be, I mean, better competition. I think we'll have to definitely put in the effort and the, the time to get better and make sure we can compete, but I think we'll be okay. Bryce, what about this senior class? 10 or 11 of you here. Are you guys a tight-knit group? Yeah, we, we're pretty tight. <laughs> what do you guys like to do off the field together to uh, to make sure you have that camaraderie that you can say on the air, please? Uh, we just like to hang out, go swimming, mm -hmm. go out to eat somewhere, stuff like that. That's great. Logan, what's your favorite part about playing for Coach Leonard? I say he's pretty fiery and you know, he'll always jump on you, give you a hard time, but still cares for us all the same. Is there anyone on the schedule that you're looking at that you might have circled going into this season? Definitely LB. Yeah, LB is a big one. That's a big one. If we want to compete for the title, we have to beat them. McComb and Lipsick. Classic BBC rivalries. And just talk about going to the postseason last year, making the deepest run in school history. How, has, how are you going to build on that coming into this season? How was that experience helpful? Uh, it was experience was helpful because we finally got to face new teams. They were really good. We got to face better competition and got better. All right, guys, best of luck to you this season. Thanks for stopping by. Time for another break on the warm-up. But when we return, we'll talk to three more Arlington seniors. Third down here on the warm-up, presented by Blanchard Valley Health Center from Arlington. Three more seniors, Zach Romick to my right, Mitch Joloff in the middle, and Hunter Bernhardt on the end. Zach, we'll start with you. What does it mean to you to get ready to go into your senior year knowing this is your last 
season in the red and black? I mean, I know it's my last shot, so I just got to give it my all and do as best I can. Mitch, anything you're looking forward to this season in particular, knowing that this could be the, well, it will be the last season that you play under Coach Leonard? Oh, just the, the bigger games, you know, the rivalries, and just want to prove a point. Hunter, who, who do you consider your biggest rival in the BBC? Uh, we have a few. The ones that compete for the BBC title every year, the ones that are big games, Macomb, Lipstick, LB. Zach, getting ready for a scrimmage on the 15th. It's a three-way scrimmage with Marion Local and Bluffton and you guys. What are you hoping to get out of that game? You know, just a lot of good film, see what we need to improve on and what we need to get better at. And it gives us a good uh, idea of what a game-like situation is going to be like for us. Yeah, Mitch, are you looking forward to that one as well, knowing that you get to hit somebody else besides your own teammates? <laughs> yeah, it'll definitely be a different feeling. You know, the boys from Marion Local and Bluffton, they're – good programs and you know just be good competition. What does it mean to play with these group of seniors on that line and, and really solidify the trenches for Arlington? Uh, we've had the same group for a while so we have a lot of good communication and we're all good with each other so it works out. Well, looking at the schedule after Shaw which Mark talked about you guys have three straight road games is that something you have prepared for differently knowing that you're not going to be playing at home for almost a month? Not really. We're just going to go there and play the same game we would here. We just give it our best. Are you looking forward to that opening game against Shaw, knowing that it's not the normal opener against Riverdale and mixing it up a little bit? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, it would be a really great competition and just see different schools and how they do things, and we'll learn a lot from it. Hunter, what's the one thing that you personally want to improve upon most before week one? Uh, just the game overall. I made a lot of mistakes last year, so just improve on everything different things every week. Zach, same question to you. What are you personally looking to improve upon before the games start to count for real? Just being a better teammate, helping out the guy beside me as much as I can and getting better. I guess Mitch will <laughs> might as well get your answer to that as well. Yeah, um, pretty much the same thing, you know, just being a leader and keeping the younger guys in check and just doing as best as we can. Is there a favorite part of camp, or is it kind of monotonous? Or Do you enjoy coming out here every day, two days? Well, of course. Those are the best parts. With Coach Spire, our lineman coach, we go out there, tackle some dummies, cover some footballs. That's the right answer. Oh, yeah. That's the right answer. But the games are obviously, that's where the adrenaline is really flowing, right? So week one, we, you have a lot to look forward to. Oh, yeah. Well, best of luck to you guys. Thanks for joining us on the warm-up. That'll do it from Arlington on this edition of the warm-up, presented by Blanchard Valley Health Center. We'll see you next time.